unfortunate placement of that thing. Alright, you're down. Next to you. Quit moving. Stand around and turn around and get beaten for a while. Come on. Not even hurting this guy. Very slowly. Crap. What's up out there? So, figured it'd be time to do an update. I should have put a portal down. It is time for this week's, or not this week, but this update. Uh, so, I have been really cranking along on this, and we're deep into red maps. So I'll get into the whole where we're at and everything here in a second, but I wanted to show off the build. Uh, there's a little latency there. First thing I wanted to talk about was some performance that we've had. Like, it's been kind of, sort of rough. I don't know. It's not been great. Let's say that. I'll kill this thing off real fast. Well, no, maybe not. So some single target stuff's not been dying as immediate. Come on, quit following me. Go away. I'm going to put a portal down. So performance. Good Lord, man. Is that the thing that was chasing me earlier? Good. Kill him off. Get him out of the way. And put my other thing down. So performance wise, early on, the, we're, we're like one week into this whole thing. It feels like it's been so much longer, but we're only one week in. Let's see if I can kill this guy off for, of course you run to the other one, you asshole. So try to get this thing completed. I had a lot of trouble with this map. There we go. You just die and go away. Um, we are in the red maps. This is tier 13, I think right now. And I really struggled with this map uh, earlier. I tried it last night. I think it was last night. I got this guy killed off first, and then I tried fighting that dog thing or whatever it is that comes with him, and this was a brutal fight. Yeah, eat that. So I ended up getting killed on this one, and I just couldn't finish it. Like, I killed that guy off, the archer guy, and then I killed... I couldn't kill the, the beast. I got about... It, it's half health. It kept charging me or something and just killing me. So where we are right now, I have got this much of the map open, there is 88 of 115 of these nodes unlocked. We are deep within, I got a tier 16 one done, uh, tier 15, and we're way up into this section here. So this is where I've gotten with the mapping. So this is one week's worth of progress. Now I've played a lot. I have made sure to play as much as possible, uh, it, but then I kind of get tired of playing and I you know, go watch a movie or something. So uh, there's been, like I started watching the Mission Impossible series, so I've watched one of those movies every day pretty much so with that in the all the play time that i've had in this is where i've gotten in one week this is fantastic progress in my opinion now i went through the campaign very slowly i can't remember i think the last uh episode we did of this was right after i completed the campaign so this is what i've done since i've gotten this far i have made some gear changes we'll take a look at the character real quick here so on the on the tooltip, I'm getting 18,884 bone shatter DPS. And I have been dying to trauma stack. So I need to look up why I'm why that's happening and figure that out. I haven't got that far yet, so uh just haven't been there yet. And go to the stash here, dump this stuff off real fast. And then we can have uh, I didn't even want that. Get rid of that. Throw that in the inventory, sell this off. So First and foremost, let's talk about SSF. I have not really had much of a different experience since the last time. In fact, I have a Divine sitting there waiting. I've got a Regal Orb. I've had like two Regal Orbs. I've really been struggling with these Orbs of Alchemy and then these two here for um, uh, the scouring to where you scour off a, an item or whatever. And then the I, I haven't really been using these, but I've also been struggling with, oh, the for a while, the Jeweler's Orbs and then these the ones that link stuff. Like that's been kind of an issue, but that's because I've been really using that stuff, trying to link stuff. I got this to drop. This is a five link triumphant lamellar. It's got plus 50 to max life. And I've tried throwing some of the, what is this? The Eldritch stuff on there. I've tried throwing a few Eldritch things on. I haven't really had enough Eldritch currency to really dive into this. So it, it kind of is what it is, but I have a five link. This is where I've got my bone shatter. And this is Karn's bone shatter build that I'm working off of right now. What I need to do at some point, I'll probably do it maybe this weekend, maybe this week, I don't know. I need to really sit down and break this build down like I did the uh, Righteous Fire build last league. 
And I really need to try to understand how all of this works. Like I've tried to build the gear. I think he said you want to have uh, armor and evasion gear. So I've been working on that. I did have some straight armor stuff on here at one point. But the other side of the coin, I like this is level 81. This is item level 79. Here's 75. Here's 81. One thing I tried to do, like here's some eye level 52, 74. Uh, we'll get into that amulet here in a second. But one thing I tried to do is when I came out of the campaign, I had like say level 30, 40 gear, item level 30, 40 gear, something like that. Not the gear, not the level it takes to equip it, but the item level of the gear. So I've been trying to get into higher item level gear and trying to, to like this thing, I'm this is a work in progress. This ax here should be better than the ax that I have. Now, I, I did put the vol ax on. So this vol ax is doing more damage. Um, I do have some, well, I did. I got rid of the other lower eye level ones, but this is an eye level, what is it, 79? And this is 68. So I wanna try to replace these. Basically what I've tried to do is to get higher end equipment that might get better stats and trying to get some implicits put on here. Like these implicits, like this is minions take reflected damage. That doesn't even apply. Increased chaos damage probably doesn't apply much. Now this one here, increased cast speed might and increased duration of ailments on enemies might. I, I see, I need to really dig in to see if we're doing ailment damage and stuff like that. Like that's part of learning this whole game that I need to really focus on. <coughs> but one of the problems that I'm running into now, it, I've, I've upgraded my gear considerably, basically is what I'm saying, but I'm running short on uh, all the currency I need to do more. So I've, I banked up some gear. I went through all the gear that I had and tossed out all the crap. And I think the, these gauntlets and these boots are kind of what made the way through. Uh, there's the old, yeah, there's the old boots and uh, gauntlets that I had. And then there's the belt that I had. I switched this belt out because it's got uh, max life on it as well. So that's kind of where I'm at. And, and as far as stats, uh, I think we're doing fairly well. I've got 23,000, well, basically 24,000 armor, damage reduction of 80%. Evasion rating of 4406, that's with everything turned on. Chance to evade 32%. Uh, well, we're 76% on all elemental resistances with 128, 105, and 119 as the, the max. I've got minus 12 chaos, which I need to work on that at some point. And then we've got freeze avoidance. Freeze sucks. I absolutely hate it. I could not wait until I could get that, but that was like way up here somewhere. I don't remember where that was. Uh, it was one of these really far up ones. This one maybe. Uh, no, it wasn't Reef. Yeah, it was. Was it Reef? No, it wasn't that. I guess it doesn't matter. But it was one of these that was fairly far along. Yeah, I don't remember now. I swear it was that one, but that doesn't sound right. I thought it was uh, thought it was up in this corner, but I'm not seeing it. Eh, it doesn't matter. I got that taken care of. Uh, actually, that was um, Mervale. Mervale, where's she at? Now I'm kind of... Oh, it was this one. Underground Sea, yeah. Oh, it doesn't have the little thing on it. That's why. It, I thought it should have that little dealy on it, but maybe because there's a ant track coming out of it, it doesn't. But I had to get that. Dude, uh, being frozen sucks horribly, and I fought that for a while, so I got that taken care of. And that's why we have this 120%. I probably need to work on some other stuff, but just haven't got there yet. Stay, I'm not there with these with my flasks either. So these flasks are kind of useless. Like the only one that comes up when reached full is the um, the stibonite one that gives. What do we get more evasion off of this? The movement speed one k kicks off when adjacent flask is used. So it should the in theory kick off when that one's used. But like I don't have the instilling orbs. I have one now. So basically what I would do is come in here and pull one out. And as soon as I get one of these, run that. Now it's frozen. So. You know, it just is what it is. So these kind of, uh, this one goes off when blocked, but I really would like to have these set up, I think like the uh, uh, Righteous Fire build. So you basically use one full and then gain charge when hit by enemy. So I've made sure to make sure that these are up. Now these are level 27, so I probably need to replace those. Uh, just to make sure that I can get all the right affixes on them and everything. So where I'm at is getting really tough so like the yellow maps weren't too much of a problem the red maps are definitely a punch in the face and an eye opener 
And especially the deeper ones you get, like that fight that I started this video off with, that was almost impossible to do. I, I just, I couldn't get it done. There's been a couple of them I've ran that the boss would, I just couldn't damage the boss at all. And it's the, I know the modifiers are really hurting it, but by, by the time you do a rare corrupted map, dude, these things get tough. So I've been fighting a lot of that, but you can see I've made a seriously a large amount of progress. And let's talk about the passive tree real quick here before we get too much further in. I need to go through and double check all of this and make sure that I am correct with everything because sometimes the masteries might change or something like that. So I definitely need to go back and redo that. That'll be something I do today or tomorrow now that it's a weekend. And I'm basically coming around in this wheel here to get kinetic impacts. And then I come up through warrior's blood up to heart of the warrior. So I am currently at level 88. So I have 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. So that'll get me to 93. So I know where my path is for the, foreseeable future then the build goes into some higher tier stuff where you have to have like certain items or something like that so i don't know where i'm going to go on the passive tree from there because it reworks a little bit but you have to have like i think it's based around trade league and not ssf so we're going to have to take windage and figure that out which is why i want to try to figure out how this build works i've also got all of my ascendancies done so i've got impact brutal fervor yeah, Brutal Fervor, Bane of Legends, and Headsman. Now, this one's kind of cool. Kills enemies that have 20% or lower life when hit by your skills. So, they hit 20%, done. That's it. I like this. <laughs> this is great because you don't have to finish off the rest of that combat. It's just over with. Now, I did want to point, before I get too far forward, I did do the Polaric, whatever that thing is last night. In fact, let's we'll click on this here. So I did the Polaric invite. I think that's from the Searing Exarch side. I've got that done. I've got the Eater option open so I can start doing that. And I've got this progress on the Maven. So we're that far along on all of this. Now in that Polaric, a Polaric invitation. So in that thing, I got this to drop, the Eternal Struggle Onyx Amulet. This swapped out the other amulet that I had instantly. While a unique enemy is in your presence, 11% increased mana reservation efficiency of skills. I don't think I care about that because that, like, that's going to affect it when a unique enemy is there. And I don't know, that that doesn't really matter to me as much. I don't care about that. And it's such a variable thing that I don't think it's going to matter. But this is another thing in here. While a unique enemy is in your presence, 10% increased movement speed. So you get to move a little faster. I thought that was cool. And one of the things I've struggled with is dex and intelligence. So this gives plus 20 strength, plus 49 to dex, and plus 46 to intelligence. So we do have slightly, I could probably run a divine on this and make it slightly better, but my luck with running a divine on that, unless I have a bunch of them stacked up to try to keep rain rolling it, is poor. So I don't want to mess with that. Uh, it also has 11% increased global defenses. Whatever that means, I don't know. It's positive, so it's great. Now, it says critical strikes inflict malignant madness if the eater of the worlds is dominant. So the dominant one is the one on the left, I believe, which is the Exarch. So I don't have the eater one. So I'd like to try to flip this. I can't, I know there's a way of switching this through currency or something or a, a craft, maybe a harvest craft. I, I mean, I, I just got this thing last night and I was, it was late and I didn't really have time to really dig into it. But this also has kill enemies that have 50% or lower life on hit if the Searing Exarch is dominant. So I, I kind of duplicated that last... Uh, ascendancy thing that I've got, which I could switch over with, given this thing, I could switch over and try, I mean, this would, I'd have to knock another 5% health off. So I think I want to try to switch this over. I don't know what Malignant Magnus is, and I need to figure out how to switch the, the, the dominance of this. So I got that. I thought that was awesome. That's a good addition. So I think that'll help me out a lot. The Onyx part is what I needed, and I'm doing really well on my uh, resistances, because I switched over to Primalist. Now, I did a Wildwood video where I talked about this, and I actually switched over to the Primalist. I tried Tinctures. I did not like them. I thought the Tinctures kind of sucked. So what I, I switched over to this thing here with the Rucksack. Dude, that Rucksack is awesome. This needs to be in the game. I, I hate to say it needs to be a, a purchasable item like you purchase a skin or something like that. I would almost do it. I mean, if it was if it was an item to purchase, I, I probably would because it's it's really good. That said, I would love to see it in the game like you just go do a quest and you have that because this thing here, this little box off to the side, that is huge. I've been throwing all the maps. So what I was doing before is I would normally put my scroll of wisdom and 
portal skull here on this corner and then i would stack up all the maps that i wanted to run the problem is when i come back the first thing i do is control click all of the stuff from the left to the right so then i started running all the maps that i've i would stack up a bunch of maps to run on the right hand side so that i wouldn't like throw them in my inventory and then have to go fish them back out with this thing all this stuff is loot there's nothing that's not loot on this so all i have to do is go to the next map i can have a whole bunch of maps rolled out it's i love this tray i we need this in the game we just need it that period <laughs> that that's just it and i'm surprised they don't have this on all the ascendancies because i think that's a huge quality of life improvement that just should be here but i have this here this charm here that has plus 13 all elemental resistances and then this charm that has plus 14 so I've got plus 27% elemental resistances just off of this. That negates all, almost all of the Act 5 losses right there. So that freed up a whole bunch of stuff on my uh, gear. I don't want O. I want I. That frees up a bunch of stuff on my gear, so I was able to be a little bit less picky on my gear. Like, I didn't have to meet certain requirements. So, like... I think these boots dropped the way they were. They had fire, cold, and lightning resist on them. So I'm like, all right, cool. I can work that in. I don't have to, because of the Onyx amulet and stuff, I don't have to worry about uh, decks and intelligence and stuff like that. I can just throw this right on, put movement speed on, and I'm good. And the same thing with like these gloves. I think I actually work these gloves up and then like um, run a few chaos orbs on them to get them where they are. But the other thing that I freed up, I don't know if I like this or not, but there's no life regen on this character. So like I have a regenerate 10 life on this uh, uh helmet here i don't need that i don't regen at all there's a node you take in the passive tree and i don't remember where it's at it might be a mastery for all i can remember but there's a node you take that you just don't regen life at all uh i can't remember where it's at but it, it's straight up you just don't regen life so that's that's a thing and i oh it's this one here yeah, it's this Vol Pact. So total recovery per second from life leech is doubled. Maximum total life recovery per second from leech is doubled. And you have no life regeneration. So the interesting thing is when you run this, when you run this Bone Shatter build against all these maps, I see this no life regen that I used to have to just avoid with um, Righteous Fire. I can charge into those bastards with the red rings that would just sap all your, you know, just basically break Righteous Fire. I can just smoke and sit in there and just beat down on them. I, it doesn't matter. I can trash them. Now, what I have, I need to go through and read more about, like, this is where I need to research the build a little bit more, but I need to go look at, like, map modifiers. Like, I don't know, out of this list of stuff, maybe vulnerability is bad, I don't know. But, like, I'm not sure what... Uh, what I want to avoid. Like I knew the certain ones that I would want to avoid on righteous fire. I, there was two main ones that I, two or three main ones, but I don't know what to avoid on this one. Now I know 40% monster elemental resistance is probably not a good one to have, but like none of these jump out at me as something I want to avoid. Now I'm, I probably should pay attention to this. I know this map's going to be rough. I just know it. So, but I haven't completed it yet. And I'm, you know, you kind of run into the point where you get, your XP bar kind of far over. You don't want to run the difficult maps you're going to die on. You're like, yeah, I know it's going to happen. So I don't want to run those. So I've been kind of trying to keep those careful, but, uh, yeah. So like I said, we're way up into these red maps and sometimes I have to run one and then stop and come back and do something else. I have ran some delve. I need to run more on delve. And speaking of that, let's talk about the passive tree. So, let me make sure that I am not covering this thing up so we can take a look at it. I initially ran up the middle and I kind of picked up these essence nodes here and I came up through here, came up this way and basically came up like this. I picked up these essences over here and I watched somebody in their video talking about running wandering path where the notable Atlas passive skills grant nothing. So these big nodes don't do anything like this ampl amplified energies doesn't do anything. So even if I allocate it, it just doesn't work. But these are doubled. So I get 20, well, I think this is already the, I think this was 5% and this is now 10. I think it reflects the change already in the tooltip for it. I, I'm, I, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But it doubles all of this stuff. And I think these are 1%. So I think it does show up in the tooltip. So I went with Wandering Path. And I, to be honest, I haven't really noticed a difference between that race league I did, the what was it? The um, wasn't the Calandra one? Yeah, 
Yeah, it was the Calandra Race League, the Sentinel and Calandra one. I haven't really noticed a mapping difference here as I did there. Like, it feels about the same. I've gotten the maps. I haven't had a hard time finding them. Now, it's definitely going to get more difficult the further up into the red maps I get. And, like, trying to f close out the last white map or the last yellow map, it was a little bit of a chore because I didn't necessarily have the maps surrounding it, so I had to go farm those up. But it's not a big deal. You kind of level up. You go do other things while you're collecting maps to get maps to get the map you need or run it get Kirok missions to pop up so you, you can get those and to be honest i have not ran any of these uh, scouting reports yet i haven't needed one if i get a Kirok mission chances are uh i come over here there is that see that one's incomplete so chances are there's one that's incomplete already on here and i, I think i've already got all the yellow ones so i don't need any of those the ones that i'm having difficulty with are the unique maps but those come up on Kirok missions. We were in the Atlas tree. So those come up on Kirok missions. I'm not too concerned with those. I want to try to get as much of the Atlas, uh, of the mapping portion as I can. So what I'm saying is I've been trying this wandering path. It seems like it's okay. I've, let's see, I've gone, I have not like planner technician. I haven't gone into, but I did get these where it gives you an extra chance to get a Kirok mission on completion. I've made sure to use the the chance to get an additional connected map. So what do we have here? 70%, 76% chance for um, one monster in each of your maps to drop an additional connected map. And then a 21% chance for map drops to be duplicated. So those are really good. And that's great. I've also specced into this stream of consciousness. Now this is one I learned about last league. Somebody pointed this out. You can use this. You cannot modify the maps by anything other than divine vessels. So that means you can't run scarabs and stuff like that, which is fine. I'm not, I don't have enough scarabs to run right now, but that gives you all kinds of other extra content. Like you can get, I don't know, you might get Nico in there. You might get uh, essence stuff. You might get incursions. You might get beyond, like it just randomly throws up stuff. So I'm right now I'm running stream of conscience and wandering path as like a, a theme. I have specced into all almost all of the essence nodes. This first node down here just says imprisoned monsters in your maps have 50% chance to drop an additional rare item. Because I'm not running the notable, I don't want I can't run these anyway because of the wandering path, but this doesn't seem like I care. I don't know that I care about getting an additional rare item. So I've specced into all the other essence ones which give me a chance for essence to be in the map or whatever or the the uh, additional essences and stuff like that. So I've specced all into that. And the cool thing is when I decide to pull off Wandering Path, I'll be able to pick one, two, uh, what do we get? Three of these nodes. So there's three points I can just shift over real fast and I can get these notables and be doing that stuff. And then, you know, another three gets me this down here. So I can start breaking the Kirok missions back a little bit and start going into these maybe. I did not go into this because I don't care about pack size and I don't, because this is, if I read this right, Kirok mission areas have an increased pack size. That's just around what he wants done. I don't care about that at the moment. I got other things I'd like to do. So I haven't messed with this and I'm not, I can't do the notable. So there's no point in going down there anyway. So that's kind of what I've done for the most part. That was the early section. Then I started generating more and more uh, passive points down here to allocate. And I ended up coming over to the Legion portion. That was a, a little bit of a grind that I'd like to get out of the way first. I want to get this done. I, I know the Essence is kind of on this side of the map, of the tree, and the Legion stuff is on this side of the tree, and it's kind of split up a little bit, and I'm kind of all over the place. I would probably be better served to maybe do Syndicate on this side and maybe do something else on this side. I, I don't care. I want to, this is what I want to work on. And to be honest, I haven't really even been working on Essence Monsters. If you go into the Wildwood, they get super juiced and kill me. Like, I can't even hurt them. And I've been blasting maps so much that I haven't really been stopping to do a lot of the Essence stuff. And when I do find them, they're really hard. So I've just kind of skipped them. But like I said, they're allocated and ready to go. So I don't really want to mess with it and change everything. So I have pa uh, pathed over into all the Legion stuff. So I've got nodes coming from the top here on this side because there's this that comes down. And then there's this one that comes up and this I came swung around over to this one here and we've got this one down here and I thought, yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's one up here. So I've pathed into those. So 
again, once I pull out of the wandering path, I could start putting nodes into that. And we've got, you know, what do we got? 92 of 132. So I've got plenty of these things to work with to keep adding into this. So I think that's what I want to do for the moment is to work on this stuff. As far as my progress on the Legion, if I go into fragments, oh, there we are right here. Like I, I just kind of got started. So it's kind of not that far into it. But that, if I can not run away, that is where I've been, that's, that's what I've been working on. So I've been trying to catch the legions whenever I see them in a map, and I've been trying to get through the maps, get to the next map, kill the boss, that kind of thing, just get all my passive points and as much as I can done as fast as I can. I'm not worried about the Exarch, the Eater, the Maven. I'm not worried about any of that stuff right now. I think what I'm going to have to do is, and this is going to be what I need to work on at this point, those red maps are seriously hard. Like I am running into some major issues and I don't have all the currency that I need to do what I need to do. I don't have a six link yet. I don't, I don't have a six link ax yet. Like I need that stuff done. So I think what I'm going to focus on now is maybe running low level red maps or something like that. Maybe tier 12, 14, somewhere in that realm, tier 10, maybe, I, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, somewhere in there, high yellow, low red. Something like that. Maybe even into the white maps, maybe do some Einhar missions or something, or maybe start running, uh, I need to do more Syndicate, maybe do some Einhar. I might start working, uh, maybe some Delve, maybe some Nico stuff. I don't necessarily want to do these Alva missions yet. And I don't ne necessarily care about the Einhar missions so much that they're just extra monsters to go kill. Like I, I need Syndicate stuff for the unlocks. Like I've got a lot of stuff unlocked on the crafting bench but there's still a lot left to go. Like this is all unveils here. Like I got a ton of unveiling to do. So I need to really focus on that. And I don't know how much I have left. Yeah, see that's all veiled. So then there's a bunch of undiscovered stuff. And these are like Putrid Cloister took me a long time to find last map or last time. Solaris Temple, that's a campaign one. Some of these might still be campaign ones, but I need to, finish off the mapping but i have very little of the mapping stuff to do uh stagnation i should get that one six link sockets that'd be huge five linked would be good too need to get those but anyway that is where we are this video is probably way too long but uh it's been basically a week since i sat down and did an update and this is where we are i i think at this point i'm going to keep pushing the red maps that i need have incompleted as i can but I'm also going to try to push back down into some of these lower ones. Like I definitely need Kirok missions for these unique ones. So I need to run white and yellow maps just to finish out this unique stuff. And I'd like to farm uh, Harvest and Essence monsters. Maybe throw some Einhar in there for just giggles. I need gear. I need currency. I need to work on all of those things. I, before I can propel, what I'm trying to say is before I can propel forward into the deeper part of the end game where you're fighting the bosses and stuff like that, I need to get this gear sorted and I need this gear better. I need six link uh, weapon and armor. I need better gear that I can find in here and I need this stuff worked up. This has gotten me fairly far the way it is. And I mean, I've definitely ran into issues where I've had to upgrade and then, you know, this is where I'm at. And then I, you know, I get stalled out. Well, I, I've gotten as far as I can go. I don't feel like I'm in a, hitting a brick wall right now, but I'm definitely hitting a very hard wall that is not letting me... Eventually, it's going to be a brick wall, and I'm not going to be able to get through. So anyway, that is where we are, and that is basically my plans going forward, is to redo my gear, collect some essences, and stuff like that. Maybe try to get these Legion encounters rolling. The lower level maps are much easier, and, and I can start doing more Twilight... Uh, not Twilight, but the... Uh, Wildwood. I want to run more Wildwood stuff from what I understand. If you juice the maps with Wildwood stuff, you get a lot of currency out of it. So I want to run some lower tier stuff just for that reason alone. Maybe not even run them that hard, but just, you know, you know what I mean? So anyway, this video has gone on probably way too long. That will do it for this one. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.